Welcome Capricorns and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 12th of July through to Sunday the 18th of July 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right will be your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's go ahead Capricorns and just jump straight into what your overarching crowning messages are going to be this week. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning message to the question, how does these soulmates of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 12th of July through to Sunday the 18th of July 2021. What is thank you? So we have movement, speed. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does these soulmates of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Feel towards them in love. Week commencing Monday the 12th of July through to Sunday the 18th of July 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Capricorn that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? Okay. And OK, so you've got an extra card. We've got uh, richness, marine life. So let's put that here. Then we have darkness, moon. And we have creation, water. Okay, so Capricorns, let's jump into your crowning wisdom messages. My angels and spirit guides, oh, thank you. First card out, oh wow, Sovereign Queen Maeve. Uh, Sovereign Queen Maeve seems to be coming up for a lot of zodiac signs uh, this week. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, Please, can you tell me your thank you? Okay, and it looks as if you've got a bonus as well. So we've got Eugenie, your, yeah, Eugenie um, of 285 hertz. And we have Spirit Bear of 396 hertz. Interesting. Okay. Oh, no, you haven't got a bonus card. It's three cards, isn't it? All right. OK, so Capricorns, uh, we're going to take a deep dive now into your crowning messages and see what we can glean from it. So Capricorn, your first crowning message we have is movement, speed. OK, so for those of you that I am reading for this week to make sure we haven't got too much of a glare okay i feel as if you um i feel as if you may be literally running a marathon this could be to do with work a project a business um i just feel as if you are moving at 100 miles an hour and i feel as though you're being guided um with this card to slow down this card represents the element of air and i feel as though maybe communication um you may not be paying much attention to what you're saying it's almost as if you are just doing and saying what you've got to do to just move things along get it off your table and carry on going forward i feel as though you're being guided that you're moving too fast and you may need to think about what it is you are communicating pay attention to that okay then we have got marine life um this is richness okay again a um a water sign coming in here or water element coming in here 
I feel as though you are being, um, I feel as though you're going to be blessed in a, a very, very powerful way. It feels as though all of your wishes, dreams, aspirations are coming into fruition. Um, and I feel as though uh, whatever it is you need to slow down, you may be avoiding something to do with your emotions, uh, Capricorns. And I feel as though whether whatever your dreams are they are and dreams aspirations manifestations i feel as if they're going to be fulfilled in quite an abundant way and i feel that this because this the marine life is a water element card i feel as though um it's to do with your emotions so straight off the bat i feel as though uh, capricorn you may be throwing yourself into work okay running a hundred miles an hour to avoid emotions okay emotions that you're feeling emotions that you don't perhaps know how to deal with and there may be something that you are communicating to the object of your love or your affections that actually you're not really thinking about it i feel that you're being guided with marine life to adapt slow down rest think about what you're saying with your next card, we have darkness, moon, okay? So I feel as though those of you that I am reading for, I feel this card is also another air card. So again, I feel as if communication, um, you're being guided to really think about, okay? And it could be to do with your emotions, Whatever has unnerved you with this connection that you have thrown yourself into work, almost kind of avoiding what it is you're feeling within this connection. I feel as if you may have gone through a bit of a dark night of the soul. Just know that darkness needs light and light needs darkness. And I feel as if you're being guided to rest and repair. OK, definitely rejuvenation is coming out here. And I feel as if you're being guided to know, don't be afraid of this darkness. So whatever emotions I feel that you are um, feeling towards somebody, I feel that you're being guided not to be afraid of it. OK, and that may be something that you are learning um, something that you needed to go through in order to face um, fears of emotions. The Capricorns that I'm reading for, you may have put a bit of a shield around your heart for whatever reason, maybe deep hurt, trauma, um, loss, bereavement. And I feel as you have done that, you've almost shut off love if that makes sense and i feel that you've thrown yourself into work whoever you are connecting to i feel as if you have great emotion for this person and i feel as though this is the kind of emotion or the kind of connection that you may have been manifesting wishing hoping dreaming of as it's come round, I feel that you don't know how to deal with it. And I feel like what, what they've done is they've literally put a mirror right in front of your emotions, right in front of whatever it is you have locked your heart to. And I feel as if you're a bit scared. You're being guided to know it's OK. You're changing. You're evolving. With your final card, um, again, another water element coming out here. I feel as if Capricorns, um, you are being reminded that you are a creator, okay? You are a divine being. You are a creator. And I feel as though you're being guided to um, create, adapt okay to this emotion that you're feeling i feel as though you may have been um praying wishing hoping um aspiring to this kind of connection for a long while you may be quite mature or your manifestations your prayers have been i feel like you've, you've done it for a long time you are getting messages i feel um this week to let you know that you don't need to fear this connection OK, I feel as though this connection actually may be quite healing for you and it's to do with healing your emotions. Remember, you are the creator of your destiny. And I feel as you co-create with Divine Spirit Universe, which I feel that you have been doing for a long while, um, this connection has really um, 
yeah, I feel as if they have triggered, triggered whatever you were cocooning or shielding your heart. And I feel that it is to do with love. And what you're doing, I feel for those Capricorns that I am reading for, and it isn't going to resonate <coughs> for all of you Capricorns, but I do feel that um, this person has triggered something that you needed to look quite deeply at within your heart space um, that needed healing, that needed healing in a really powerful way. And I feel for your crowning wisdom messages, that very much reflects that. So with Sovereign Queen Maeve, who's been coming up a lot, I feel as though her energy is coming in to let you know that you need to walk boldly, confidently. You are a warrior, okay? I feel as though whatever hurt you, whatever trauma, whatever heartbreak, loss or bereavement, I feel as if you're being guided to walk boldly in your power. Um, you may be guided, I feel, to take quite aggressive action with dealing with this fear, okay? Um, I feel as though it's something that has plagued you for a hot minute. I feel as if you are quite spiritual in terms of you have the ability to connect with divine spirit universe. Um, Sovereign Queen Maeve is all about... Um, protecting humanity, uh, protecting the light. And I feel as if you have that ability. There's something about you that I feel you speak your truth, you do um, do the right thing. And I feel as if you're being guided to do the right thing and protect your light. And that is with, let me put that there, that is with regards to your heart. And then we've got um, Yojini um, of 285 Hertz. Now, 285 Hertz is the frequency of true, true healing, divine healing. And I feel as though um, Yojini is coming in uh, to with the energy to know that this is a spiritual journey that you're on. You are you are definitely connected with D divine spirit universe with that crown chakra there. Um, it's as though your 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 being, your eyes are being unveiled. Um, your third eye chakra is being unveiled, and I feel as though um, you're being guided to empower this uh, sovereign queen of Maeve to almost fight, fight for love, fight for healing. Fight for um, what you truly authentically want, what your soul is, I feel, craving for, yearning for. And that is to give and receive love, okay? I feel as if um, you uh, 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 throwing yourself into work is almost a distraction. And I feel as though as you rest and rejuvenate this week, um, you're going to be illuminated. Definitely major messages coming in, reminding you that you are a divine being and that it is your birthright to create. It's to create the destiny um, that you want for yourself. And I feel as if your dreams, your aspirations, your prayers um, is something the Divine Spirit Universe is saying, we've heard you, we've heard you, and um, we've brought in this person specifically to help whatever shield that you have put around your heart. And then we have a Spirit Bear of 396 Hertz. And again, um, this spirit of bear is all about, again, deep healing, okay? Um, this is deep healing specifically around guilt or fear, um, which we know from the moon card here that for you or for those that I'm reading for, it's definitely about fear. I feel as though it is fear of giving and receiving love in um, a way that your heart is um, desiring, is is needing at the moment it's it's a very this card um spirit bear is a very nurturing um protective um energy that's coming in so you've got two alleys that are coming in here yojini and spirit bear um that is 
doing some deep healing on a soul level. And I feel as if whoever you are connecting with, I feel as if they've triggered that in a very, very powerful way. And with uh, Queen uh, Maeve coming in here, I feel as if you're being guided with the wisdom that you do have the power within you. In fact, you're being guided to quite aggressively uh, face what you need to face, um, deal with it, unpick it, um, and move forward all right and i feel as if for some of you you may already be getting those messages okay so whatever is going on with you uh capricorns or the capricorns that i'm reading for real deep 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 um soul healing going on and i feel it is to do with your emotions somebody has um triggered uh, emotions in you that I feel as though you weren't expecting and quite frankly you don't know how to deal with it and um, because you've cocooned your heart closed off your heart to love for such a long while you've been um I, I feel running a marathon okay almost trying to avoid love um avoid um opening up your heart and I feel as if you may have thrown yourself into work this is a time where you're being guided to almost stop reflect when it comes to your emotions and what it is your soul is truly screaming out um we are all uh divine beings and as such we operate from a place of love regardless of um what the world throws at us you've shut down that part of you uh aquarium um, Aquari you could be dealing with aquarius um or it might be that i have just done the aquarius reading so maybe have a look if you've got aquarius in your chart or um, whoever you are dealing with has Aquarius, you might find something really useful in that message as well. But I feel as though Divine Spirit Universe is coming in and I feel as if they're trying to say to you, look, we are we are pouring out these blessings. All of your wish fulfillments are coming into fruition. The next stage for you to receive it, accept it, is to move on from fear. Okay, so Capricorns, if this message is resonating for you, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. It just helps to push this video out to other Capricorns seeking a weekly message. All right, love message. Um, and for uh, those of you that haven't subscribed already, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe if you would like to do so. And returning subscribers, welcome, welcome. Thank you for your support, your encouragement, your donations i am truly truly grateful and i really do hope um that you get a meaningful reading out of this week's love message also capricorns you can find me on tiktok and um, instagram i would welcome um your support and encouragement on those social platforms as well all right so capricorn let's get into your main love message my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 12th of July through to Sunday the 18th of July 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Capricorn that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. <clears throat> all right, let's do this. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Capricorn sun? Thank you. Okay, so we've got the two of swords. And then we have got the six of wands and the five of swords. Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me, thank you. Wow, okay, we've got the five of pentacles. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how, okay, thank you. Okay, we have the well. Okay, this is beautiful because that's divine energy coming in here. And we have the Ten of Pentacles for a bonus card. All right, Capricorns. For those of you that I am reading for, I feel as if 
whoever you are connecting with, I feel as if they do want to communicate with you. I feel as if, um, I feel as if they want to progress this connection with you, but they don't quite know how to do that. Okay, um, whatever has gone on between the two of you with this Five of Swords, I feel as though there has been a bit of an imbalance when it's come to communication with the swords that are coming out here. And I feel as if both of you almost kind of want to put that behind you. Um, you can see three swords here together. I feel as though it has been quite heartbreaking for both of you, all right? Whoever you are connecting with, I feel as if they are being protective of their heart. They may have gone through a bit of a dark night of the soul um, as well as yourself. Uh, maybe addressing the way that they communicate um, with you, with others. And I feel as though they are getting, um, yeah, they're being illuminated with that moon just there. They are being illuminated, but they don't know how to progress things with you. I feel with the six of wands, um, they feel very victorious with you. All right. They know that you are the one for them. And I feel as if they're coming towards you with that victory. They do want to take action towards you with this reef here. The two reefs, I feel as if they see you as their divine counterpart, somebody that is um, either you're married to or um, they see you as marriage material, long term commitment. But they know um, they know, Capricorn, that you are the one for them. But there's been some sort of um I, I want to say kind of like arguments or words said that I feel both of you are really thinking about it broke it 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 created a bit of heartbreak okay and I feel as though um you do both with this bonus card want to build a future with each other but there's something that was said I feel that you're you you both just want it to put it behind you on your side, Capricorn, with the Five of Pentacles, I feel as if you're really missing this person. Um, so something uh, something happened to do with a conversation or words that were said um, that kind of unbalanced this connection. You guys may not even be talking right now, or if you're talking, it's like sporadic. It's it's not anything. It's not anything major. It could be just like checking in to see how you both are doing with each other. But I feel as if you miss this person. It You you may feel that this person has um, maybe doesn't want to speak to you or um, you feel a little bit. I feel like you feel a bit separated from them. You're missing them. Feeling left out in the cold really thinking about these conversations. I feel both of you do want to build a future with each other, but whatever was discussed or whatever was spoken, maybe one of you, perhaps this person, whatever they said, it may have given the other person the impression that they didn't want to build a future. With the well coming out here, um, Capricorn, this is divine spirit universe coming in to say to you that your wish fulfillment is coming upon you. It's coming into fruition. And I'm connecting that with the marine life. OK, and I feel as though whatever it is you have been wishing, hoping, praying for um, when it comes to love when it comes to a true love even though you may have blocked off your heart because I feel as if you've got some healing that needed to be done you're being guided to know that all of your wish fulfillments are coming 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 to fruition and I feel with the Queen Maeve you're being guided that you need to almost aggressively deal with the pain the trauma of past relationships that have really really scarred you um because i almost feel as though whatever conversations you had with this person it almost feels as though it was coming from a place of fear because of what you have experienced in the past whether that is trauma heartache loss bereavement and I feel as though 
it's it's weird because it feels as as though you're wishing, hoping, praying for a true love, um, something that is um, pure, divine. But then Divine Spirit Universe delivers that to you. You say something because you are operating from fear. And it's like Divine Spirit Universe is saying, you wished for this. You asked for this. We have given it to you. And now there is, um, you're both out of alignment because you're not talking properly. And I feel as though they're saying you need to aggressively and boldly and confidently um communicate with this person um get things back on track stop focusing on work and face face the darkness of why it is the two of you are not talking why it is this person doesn't know how to communicate with you right now doesn't know how to move past this which you both do okay and you both want to build this future together this person knows that you are their person there's just no doubt about that but i feel as if whatever it is blocked your heart to receive love to give love this is where this healing is coming in and i feel with the bear spirit you're being guided don't feel guilty don't feel fearful it almost feels as if you're now you're you're triggering um you know fear that you may have lost this person because of something that was said Get rid of that. Just get rid of it. Just know that this person has been brought onto your life journey, your soul journey to help you heal. OK, let's have a look at your. Um, oh, look at that. Can't believe that. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel as if you both see each other as long term commitment marriage or you could be married to this person already. My angels and spirit guides of the dip. Thank you. Wow, yeah, this person I feel wants change, yeah. With the world card here, I feel as if they know that they need to progress this with you. Um, they want change, they but they don't know how to bring it about, I feel. Wow, they're scared, okay. <laughs> they're scared. I feel as if they're scared that um, they may say, say something for you to... Um, pull back your energy even further than what it is pulled back it feels as if at the moment the two of you are kind of talking but not really having any major in-depth conversations at all like I say it's almost like hi how are you how are things going I feel as if this person is kind of scared um, to say anything to you that might trigger you to even pull back that little bit of a communication but they want change with the moon card coming in here you could be dealing with pisces or you could have pisces in your chart my angels and spirit guides of the divine please thank you okay i feel as though this person is at a crossroads it feels as though they are turning their back towards approaching you turning their back to putting in any more work in this connection all right and i feel as though that's why you are being guided particularly with the sovereign queen Maeve, to almost go forward um be the warrior that you are this is a very warrior energy remember the queen Maeve um protects uh people's lights humanity um love it, it's a very protective energy and i feel as if you're being guided you're being guided to a know that this connection is protected but you need to take action to bring into what your wish fulfillment is and has been i feel for a long period of time um you, you've got to take the action to, to bring that into um the 3d I feel as if you do know how to co-create, you do know how to co-create with divine spirit universe and your higher self and to manifest. Now I feel as if your spirit team is saying, okay, we've done our part. We've orchestrated this um, so that you can come together with somebody that is going to give you all of your wish fulfillment when it comes to love, but you need to take strong action. They are aware that you are healing. And I feel as if they're saying to you that the wisdom that's coming in is that this 
fear that you're feeling around this person, just know that you are being healed, okay? Very, very deep, deep healing going on. And it feels as if this mirror needed to be placed in front of you in order for you to enter into this connection with the, the right frame of mind, so to speak. But I feel with this um, Two of Swords, I feel as if this person is turning their back on putting any more work into this connection. That's why I feel that you're being guided, that you've got to take action. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you clarify? Thank you. Yeah, do you know something? There were misunderstandings, miscommunication over communication. With the swords um, here, the five of swords being clarified by the um, seven of cups, I feel as though whatever was spoken about was to do with your emotions, possibly building a future with one another. Um, I feel as though there was, it just went, it just went out of, out of whack. Capricorns, misunderstanding, miscommunication. And I feel as if you both would kind of want to put it behind you now. All right. I feel as if this person is choosing to put misunderstandings, miscommunication behind them, because I feel as if they do want to take action to come towards you um, because they know that you're their person. But also it's almost that kind of <coughs> that kind of in between stage is like, do I communicate with my Capricorn? Um, am I going to say something that is going to trigger further misunderstandings or miscommunication? That's why I feel their energy is almost thinking just like you. This could be a twin flame connection because you're both in this position of really thinking about the communication that has gone on um, that created misunderstanding, miscommunication. And I feel that you both have a choice to clear this up, okay? And look at that. We've got the high priestess. Um, I feel as though, uh, Capricorn, you are extremely intuitive. I feel as if you already kind of know that whatever conversations had you had with this person around both of you building a future with each other, I feel as if you already know that something you said, uh, something they said was misunderstood, all right? And I feel as though, do you remember we saw these birds here, messages? You are connected with Divine Spirit Universe. And I feel as if you are getting messages that you need to take action, okay? You need to take action to resolve this. We haven't seen any judgment. We haven't seen the judgment card yet. Um, but that's what I'm, that's the energy that I'm picking up. It's almost like you're being called to action to resurrect this connection. And I feel as though that's intuitively, you're picking it up, but you're missing this person. I feel as if you feel like they may have cut you out. Divine Spirit Universe is saying, this is your wish fulfillment. This person has the potential to be your wish fulfillment. And yeah, look, I feel as though, wow, look at that. You're, both of your backs are to each other. Look at that. The three of wands, you're waiting. I feel as if you're waiting on this person and I feel as if they're waiting on you. Both of you have got your backs towards each other. They are um, uh, turning their back towards you of, by putting not putting any more work in. And I feel as if you are waiting for this conflict to be over, okay? You may be waiting to have this feeling of um, missing them, feeling very separate from them, um, you may be waiting for that to clear out of your energy. I feel as if you are most definitely um, really conflicted, perhaps with the messages that you are getting with regards to taking action to um, heal this situation. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides, they just showed me the Knight of Wands. That was at the bottom of the deck. Oh, look, okay. Well, it was at the, a minute ago and now we've got the uh, uh, Four of Swords. So I feel as if you're quite heartbroken. And with the Knight of Wands that came in, I feel as if that you are a little bit like 50-50. Do I approach this person? Do I not? You're really a little bit kind of like, don't know what to do. You just don't know what to do right now. I feel take take time, take time to rest, breathe. 
I feel throwing yourself into work is just a distraction and um, Capricorns and I feel as if it's not really going to help you achieve know that you can adapt and the page of wands yeah you're not taking any action towards this person you're not taking any action towards this person, even though you may know that this person is your wish fulfillment. Oh, my God. Look at that. The victory card coming in. I feel as though um, you both are coming out with the six of wands. So you also know that this person is your wish fulfillment. You do know that, but you're not taking action. And I feel as though... Um, I, do you know something? I almost feel as though um, you're not co you're not confident. You're not confident that this person is going to reciprocate, I feel. It also could mean as well that their energy is coming in here, seeing you victoriously. Um, as their person and they're coming towards you you see them coming towards you and with the well card you see that they see you as um uh, their wish fulfillment and they may come towards you a bit light-hearted flirtatious but i feel as if you are turning your back to this connection which is your wish fulfillment. Your back is turned. These two cards, your back is turned to them. I feel as if you know. I mean, there are two ways it can go. You see this person coming towards you. You know. You know that they see you as long-term commitment. Victorious. Somebody that wants to build a future with you. Sees you as marriage material. Or you could be married to them. You see that their attitude it's quite light-hearted, quite cheeky, chappy, cheeky, girly. And it's all part and parcel to heal whatever was discussed, which you both want to put behind you. But then the other flip side is, is if I have to look at it just in isolation, it feels as if you are not taking action towards this person. You know that you are going to be victorious with them. You know that they are your wish fulfillment, but you are walking away. You're waiting because you're feeling conflicted. Let's have a look at your bonus card. My eight, thank you. Wow, look at that. This person wants to rush in. They want to rush in. Um, and do you know what? You want to give love. You know that this person has got a lot of love for you. It is um, unconditional love, perhaps not spoken. But I feel as if you may be waiting to have maybe this fear of, um, uh -huh, OK, I get it. I feel as if with that intuition card that came up, you may be getting messages that you are going for a healing period. And I feel as if you are feeling quite conflicted to approach this person until you have gone through the healing okay that's what you're waiting for i feel as if you're waiting for the healing process of what you're going through to um go through it to subside to get out the other end and then you um may be going towards this person with this um ace of cups this unconditional love reciprocating what you know that they have shown you so you may genuinely see this person coming towards you being victorious i feel as if they're rushing towards you you could be at a distance from each other i feel as if they aren't going to put any more work in but i feel as though whatever connection you are having with them or whatever even though it may be uh, like i said it's not no big time conversations you guys are having it could be hi how are you just checking in that kind of energy I feel as if that is them coming in to almost um, build this future with you, to put behind whatever happened. And I feel as though they don't want a tower moment, okay? The chariot is trying to control, uh, take control of any kind of negativity. And I feel as if by coming in, 
um, sporadically, you know, the odd conversation here or there or the odd text message or WhatsApp message just to see how you are. It's part and part part and parcel of them putting behind whatever happens between the two of you behind the both of you because I feel as if they do want to build this future with you and I feel that is what they're riding towards you with this six of wands because they know that you, this is a victorious connection they know it they feel it okay and I feel as if as you go through healing um recognizing that this person is your wish fulfillment you're not taking any action yet but you do know that they are victorious they are the person that you want to be with and I feel as you go through this healing that's when you're going to be uh, coming into them with this beautiful ace of cups offering them something that I feel that they have already offered you and that's what they want this change they they you you may not have expressed your love or there was something that happened where you didn't express love um but yet you see this connection as victorious you also want to build a future with them and you also want to put behind you whatever um derailed this connection for a hot minute okay beautiful all right let's have a look at your advice my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your advice messages for the collective of capricorn <clears throat> sun moon rising and venus in love for the thank you and this card wanted to come out here as well wow truth okay and that's interesting oh my gosh you've got throat chakra coming out twice here and do you know something i the way that this truth came out on that um ace of cups um that is your true authentic self which we see that coming through with these cards um operating with your true or in, in your true authentic self because your true authentic self i feel wants to give and receive love but you've blocked that off listening if you want to be heard learn to listen and i feel as though what you're being guided to listen to is that the little bits of conversation that you are having it almost feels as if read between the line this person isn't going to put any more work in i feel as though it's because they are scared but they do want change and i feel as though you have to do your part okay and then with truth speak from your heart it's the only thing worth listening to i can't believe those two cards came out like that there is something i feel that you are strongly being guided to to do in terms of listening to what your soul is telling you but also listening to what this person is almost telling you without using words it almost feels as if you need to read between in between the lines with this person and that is where you are going to really understand um that right now they're quite fearful of having any big time conversation or pushing things and look, foundation. Foundation is what the castle of your soul is built on, root chakra. What did I say to you? This is this is all about your soul wanting to restore, giving and receiving love. Whatever it is you went through, whatever heartbreak, trauma, loss, whatever it is, I feel as if it really, really scarred you very, very deeply on a soul level to the point that your root chakra is actually quite unstable. And I feel as if whatever it is you're going through this week or the ball is starting to roll in this direction is about solidifying and firming up your root chakra because that is the only, that is the only area um that you have control of that you will it's almost like you're empowering your soul to communicate to you to guide you to talk to you and this is no interference with anybody but your internal inner child you don't forget your soul holds so much wisdom knowledge of this lifetime past lifetimes and I feel as if it almost wants to break free from perhaps darkness that it's been in of you in your human state, you know, guarding and protecting your heart, not giving love, not receiving love, not in the way that your soul is 
almost crying out for but i feel as if your spirit team is coming in to say um that deep healing is going on there is no need to feel guilty or fearful um over whoever you are connecting with but also what you are feeling internally and i feel as if you are being guided to aggressively build that foundation so that your soul can feel more solid more grounded on mother earth on this earth okay and part of that is to listen and to and to speak your truth but also to listen to your truth because i feel as if your spirit team is definitely communicating with you when it comes to your emotions all right capricorn i'm going to leave that there for you if this message resonates please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already and until next time i'm sending you loads and loads of of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye-bye.